You can ask me anything you want. Why are you out here? Oh, that's a good question. I'm on a pursuit for truth. And I think asking questions is probably one of the best tools at our disposal okay. for figuring out if what I'm believing is true, if what you're believing is true, if what that guy that just walked by us, you know, five minutes ago is believing is true. Mm -hmm. And I have this sort of hypothesis that we're building these maps of reality in our minds okay. and based on personal experiences, based on perceptions of evidence. And I want to make sure that my map is accurate. And I want to make sure that the map that people in my community are walking around with are accurate. Very conscientious of you. Well, because they teach my kids in school or they might mm -hmm. be driving down the road or uh, doing my taxes yes. or something like Influences that. Influences everywhere. Like exactly, how they vote. So that's my motivation, okay. uh, primarily. Uh, secondarily, I do like to record them, these talks, because when I see <clears throat> people discuss this topic in particular, yeah. it doesn't tend to go very uh, respectfully. Right. Yes. I, so I feel. Yeah. And I've I've jeopardized some relationships with family members because I was you know very aggressive in questioning their views, mm -hmm. and not just on God but anything polit politics or whatever. Yeah, there's a season. It's rough. There's a you season. Know. Yeah. There's a season. There's I'm 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 going to Ecclesiastes here. Um, I can put it in less abstract terms. You know, there's there's a time to push people and a time to kind of just. You know, like you said, like end the conversation and kind of diffuse and, you know, with everybody that's different, mm -hmm. maybe, you know, like my mom, I can't push her very much. You know, if I start like getting up in her grill, she's like, step off, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, but, you know, with some of my friends, I can be like, why do you think that? Yeah. Push that further, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm just saying, I understand yeah. that it's a, uh, it's kind of hard and sometimes you go too far, but you feel like that's worth it. And so you're like, I want you to get this. Or I want you to yeah. just at least ask yourself these questions. And so I understand that. But that was a great talk. Yeah. Um, did I give you one of my cards? No, you haven't. Okay. You've given me nothing but questions. Yeah. And some words. Thanks. <coughs> yeah, that was great. Uh, do you have any more questions for me? I always, I always leave conversations with more questions than I start, so of course I do. Mm. Um, I just, uh, I just, I can't, can't quite get a sense of, of uh, your pursuit yet. Oh. You know, mm. and I, I hear you so much on. They wanted to kind of get a read of the area and, and, and probe right, people and, right. and, you know, very much, I, I very much understand, you know, even wanting people for their sake, like, mm -hmm. even, even if you don't change, like, I want you to consider. Yeah. I want you to have a firmer conviction than when you started, if that makes sense. I, I understand kind that, of that sort that's, of question. Yeah, okay, so let me, let me try to use it in terms of the discussion that we were having. Um, like, we, I think we all have baskets, baskets of proofs to justify the beliefs that we're holding in our brains. And I love sort of picking through the basket and seeing, uh, is, well, is there really anything in the basket for one? And what you think is in there, is it reliable to support a high degree of confidence? So one of the goals here is to help a person think about their beliefs and the justifications that they have. Right. And because they may say, you know what? Yeah, maybe personal experience isn't really the most, uh, reliable way to conclude that something is true. Yeah. Like that, uh, the Hindu woman who thinks that Vishnu is real. Yeah. And maybe they say, you know, I really can't keep that in my basket or it can stay in my basket, but I'm gonna, the weight that I'm gonna give that is gonna be a little lighter. Yeah. So I think these, this sort of approach of what I'm doing here is this street epistemology stuff can help a person re-examine what is in the basket, what they think is in the basket. Okay. And if they feel it getting a little light, they might lower their confidence in the belief and find other things to put in the basket to bolster the, the confidence back up. Okay, so is, I, I would ask them, is, is that what you're wanting? Because I know you're wanting people to examine, very good, and you're wanting people to judge and weigh and mm -hmm. really take a good hard look into, which is great, I think, mm -hmm. I really do. Um, but I'm wondering, kind of in your heart of hearts, like what are you hoping for them? Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Um, my hope for you and me and everybody that I talk to, and even people that I don't talk to. <laughs> <laughs> As they go by. The, I, I hope for the majority of the population to want to believe true things, uh -huh. first of all, and for the things that they do think are true, that they have a solid foundation. Remember at the start you were talking about like bouncing up and down? Yeah. 
Like, I want people to have solid foundations for the beliefs that they hold because it ends up motivating us to behave differently. Right. And we talked about how you vote or teach or yeah. whatever. Like those, how, honestly, how you live. Like how we conduct our lives, our behaviors, yes. yeah. Even on an uh, imperceptible level, it, mm -hmm. it changes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, precisely. So this is sort of about like trying to make the world a little bit of a better place. You know, one person at a time, one belief at a time, one justification at a time one foundation at a time and and see if um, yeah I guess my presupposition okay. is that the more true things that we believe the better it will be for humanity 